Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowery, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing leptin resistance and its relationship to autoimmune disorder. So this connection is definitely something that needs to be addressed and often overlooked both in mainstream but also in natural medicine as to the causative factors as to why people will develop autoimmune disorder. So we're gonna go through some of the main ones and as it's related to leptin resistance. So leptin resistance causes inflammation and an increase in something called the inflammatory cytokines. And cytokines have been in the news lately, especially with viral infections. One of them is tumor necrosis factor alpha. So it's called TNF alpha. And also another big one is interleukin-6. And these inflammatory cytokines are linked to that overall inflammation in the body and offsets the way that the immune system works. And that's where the autoimmunity comes in. What autoimmune means is that our body starts to attack itself because the immune system is seeing our own tissues as something foreign. And this is, again, relating back to that leptin resistance and why we it's so important that we address leptin resistance. So I have other tips in another video as to how to fix your leptin resistance. But the research has shown that leptin and the connection with this inflammation has been linked to something like lupus. So lupus in this study has been reported to see that, you know, definitely there is that link between leptin and promoting the systemic lupus by increasing the autoantibody production and inhibiting the immune regulation. So again, that it is definitely has been studied. So that link there. So often the treatment for lupus would never even address the leptin resistance which was the causative factor. So that's why I'm all about educating you about getting at the root cause as to why the body went and got out of balance. And when you address those root causes as to whether it's related to environment or it's related to that inflammation, to stress, those are all the tips that I share in the tips video on how to fix your leptin resistance. So make sure that you check that out. Now also another inflammatory condition is rheumatoid arthritis and its relationship again with those inflammatory cytokines as it's related to the leptin resistance is definitely a factor. Also non-alcoholic fatty liver disease has been shown to be again related to a leptin resistance. Also thyroid disorders. So whether it is the autoimmune Graves disease, so in you know overabundance of thyroid hormone and hyperthyroidism, or on the other end of the spectrum is Hashimoto's, which is so common now and I find it's definitely huge numbers of you know diagnoses of, of Hashimoto's disease is definitely on the rise and there's a reason for that because of the leptin resistance because of some of the causes of the leptin resistance being our poor environment and our electromagnetic exposure to radiation and also our disconnection from the earth so those are all of the causes of leptin resistance which I have it in another video so make sure you check that out so that you know that you're mitigating those causes and decreasing your exposure as much as possible to help to fix you know these autoimmune disorders as well as type 1 diabetes which we know again is an autoimmunity there's definitely inflammation related and insulin resistance so this would be another you know re relative of the leptin resistance and is definitely something that needs to be looked at also inflammatory bowel diseases so we know leaky gut syndrome is definitely a factor but again that overall the inflammation inflammation and the inflammatory cytokines as it's related to the leptin have been linked to IBD as well. And more specifically, ulcerative colitis. So studies have looked at leptin and ulcerative colitis and also MS as an autoimmune disorder as it's related to the, again, the lack of the myelin sheath covering in terms of the neurons and the way that our batteries, our cells work in our body. Again, relating back to those leptin levels. So it's something that we can't overlook look, I really want you to do your due diligence, learn more about leptin. I've got a ton of videos here on YouTube to help you on your journey, and I hope that you're able to do that. So again, today we talked about leptin resistance and autoimmune disorders. I hope that that really helped you. 
please give me a big thumbs up for this video. If you do have questions or comments or other autoimmune disorders that you know, you're wondering about, please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to help you out. So please be sure to share this video with someone that you know will benefit from the information. I appreciate all of this wonderful feedback that I get from you. So again, that like button is a great thing that you can do for me. And also make sure that you're subscribed. So if you're new to my channel, welcome into the channel and make sure that you turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell and click all notifications so you get my newest and latest uploads, which happens every day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.